a Microsoft laptop. Suggesting it a decade ago would lead only to raised eyebrows and brief chuckles. Sure, Microsoft might want to sell its own hardware, just like Apple. Why not? The suggestion it might build a PC people want to buy, however, was absurd. Yet here you are, reading our Microsoft Surface Laptop review. Microsoft's Surface Pro, Book, and Studio have proven the company can build hardware that pushes the PC forward. Why not produce a simple, old-fashioned laptop, too? Nothing about the notebook jumps out at first glance. Our Surface Laptop review unit arrived with an Intel Core i5-7200U processor, 8GB of RAM, and 256GB solid-state drive, options that push the price up to $1,300. That's a lot, but it's not unusual in the world of high-end laptops. Numerous competitors cost about as much, or more. Look close though, and you'll see the laptop is stranger than it lets on. It runs Windows 10 S, a lockdown version that can only access apps from the Windows Store, and it has fewer ports than expected from a laptop of its size. It is, like everything in the Surface line, a new breed of PC that embodies what Microsoft hopes the laptop of tomorrow will look like. Beautifully Mundane the Surface Laptop is intentionally built for anonymity. While its all-metal chassis is available in four color options, ours came in cobalt blue, none of them stand up and shout. A similar subtle touch graces its profile, which is hard-edged, serious, and tapered at extreme angles along each edge. Even the square, precision-cut exhaust vents look like they mean business. Open it up, though, and the laptop shows its softer side. Alcantara fabric lines the entire interior, giving the system a warm, inviting feel. Dell's XPS 13 takes a similar tack, but with carbon fiber instead of fabric. We love this trend, as it instantly makes the simple act of opening and using a laptop more fun. You might worry the Alcantara will wear, and it probably will, but no more than other materials. We've used numerous Surface Pros with the Alcantara version of the type cover, and haven't noticed an issue with stains or wear. It might be a problem if you eat spaghetti while holding the plate directly over your laptop, but otherwise, it's fine. The Surface Laptop's 13.5-inch screen invites comparisons to other 13-inch laptops, like the Dell XPS 13, and HP Spectre X360. Some might even consider it alongside a 12.5-inch laptop like the Huimtbook X, is blunt. Some might like that, though, as it offers a reassuring sense of weight and durability. Microsoft's laptop also comes in a shave under 3 pounds, which beats the MacBook Pro 13, and is right in line with the Dell's smaller XPS 13. Where are the ports? The Surface Laptop isn't a tiny laptop. There's room for great connectivity, and Microsoft hasn't taken advantage of it. USB connectivity is provided by one, lonely USB 3.0 port, which is paired with mini display port, and a headset jack. The proprietary Surface Connect provides power, and can expand connectivity when paired with a Surface dock. Wireless options, meanwhile, include the usual pairing of 802.11 acres Wi-Fi with Bluetooth 4.0. We can't help but feel disappointed in what the laptop offers. It's arguably even worse than the Apple MacBook Pro 13. While it only has cutting-edge Thunderbolt 3 USB Type-C ports, they're far more capable, and there's four of them. A front-facing 720p webcam sits above the display. It's compatible with Windows Hello's facial recognition, and works within seconds. You'll want to give Hello login a go if you haven't tried it already. This is how keyboard should be. A spacious keyboard sits snuggly inside the Surface Laptop's Alcantara interior. Here, at least, Microsoft has made full use of both horizontal and vertical space. The keyboard is large, yet there's ample room between keys. Pressing any of them rewards with long, full travel and a firm, yet forgiving, bottom action. It's a joy to type on this laptop.
keyboard backlighting is standard. Several levels of adjustment are provided, and the brightest is clearly visible even in a lit room. Light leak around the corners of keys is minimal, so you won't see any annoying shaft of light sneaking out at odd angles. The touchpad is less impressive. It's a Windows Precision Touchpad compatible model, as we'd expect, and it does its job. We wouldn't mind a larger surface, however, or a texture that felt more responsive. We're not disappointed in the quality, so much as the unharnessed potential. Competitors like Apple and HP have found clever ways to build far larger touchpads into their laptops without sacrificing quality. Luckily, the Surface laptop does include one large touch surface, the screen. Though it's no 2 inch minus 1, Microsoft wisely decided to add a touch screen anyway. We didn't use it much, but we were glad to have it when we wanted it. It's even compatible with the Surface Pen and Dial. Windows 10 S, what do you think the S stands for? In fact, the touchscreen is more essential to the Surface Laptop than most competitors. This PC doesn't run the Windows 10 you're used to. It runs Windows 10 S, which can only run apps from the Windows Store. Many of them are built with touch as a priority, as the Windows Store originally debuted alongside the heavily touch-focused Windows 8. Developers can now port normal Windows 10 applications into the store with relative ease, but they're the minority. Most apps in the store have big, bright, touch-sensitive buttons that just beg to be mashed. However, the Windows Store has a limited selection of apps, and that's a problem. By default, the Surface Laptop can't run any apps outside the store. That means it can't launch Google Chrome, Firefox, Steam, Discord or the full version of Photoshop. Most software we use to test laptops won't run on Windows 10 S, so we eventually upgraded to Windows 10 Pro for this review. Microsoft's justification focuses on the simplicity and manageability of Windows 10 S which, according to the company, is sorta kinda meant for education institutions, and kinda meant for business, too. Any organization that's spying and managing hundreds, perhaps thousands, of devices will like that a Surface laptop can't tour over to the pirate bay and suck down malware. But for you, the person looking to buy a Surface laptop for yourself, Windows 10 S is nothing but bad news. There's no carrot at the end of this stick. You won't be able to use the apps you want, and you get nothing in return. It's not even possible to use Rigidit or the command window which means certain tweaks and customizations aren't accessible. At least the operating system looks identical to Windows 10 Home or Pro. Unlike Windows RT, which reimagined Windows almost from the ground up, Windows 10 S keeps its differences confined to the store. Upgrading to Windows 10 Pro, which is free this year, and a $50 upgrade after, takes less than 10 minutes, and doesn't erase or change any data on the machine. For some, the ease of upgrading will make Windows 10 as a non-issue. Those who expect their laptop to just work, however, will be annoyed, and woe to the poor student or employee who finds themselves given a Surface laptop without rights to an upgrade. Want to play a round of Hearthstone to relax after a long day?